Hello, you're welcome to this class of Grand Scale Catering Institute. My name is Chek Oge Chinweke. Today I'll be taking you on how to make Nigerian fried rice. Our Nigerian fried rice, we're going to like it. The ingredients I'm going to use for today is one, my chicken. Have your chicken. I've already washed and cleaned it. Then the next thing I'm going to use is um, liver, the cow liver. You can use goat liver, whatever liver you want. It's already washed and clean. I have my green beans here. It's already washed. And this is green peas. The green beans is actually optional. If you don't like it, you can skip it. But I like adding it to my um, German, Nigerian fried rice so that it can boost out the color of my fried rice. If you use enough, enough uh, green vegetables, it will add beauty to your fried rice. That's why I like adding green beans to mine. In case you see, if you don't see it in other ones, you see no my reason for adding it. So the next thing I'm using is my onion. I'll use onion. I have my green pepper here. Then I'll be using carrot. And I'll be working with rice. That's why it's called fried rice. Then I have my thyme here. I'll be using black pepper and curry powder. And my um, stock cubes. You can use any cube you want, but let it be a stock cube with my salt. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to steam and cook the chicken. I'm cooking the chicken with the liver together to make it easy for me. Instead of boiling this separately, I'll boil them together so I can get the stock. So inside here, I'll add thyme. Then I'll add a little salt. Be careful when you are cooking with salt. Very little. Like half a teaspoon. Inside here again, I'll add two cubes of stock cube. Then I'll add black pepper. And curry powder. Then I'll add my onion. I'll cut the onion in cubes. This is Grand Skills Catering Institute. Do well to tell a friend. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you tell someone. We'll be bringing to you different kinds of food that you will like. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask us. So this onion, I'm adding it to the meat. You can use your beef, but I prefer to use chicken for my fried rice because of the taste it gives. So I'm going to add little water to it and cook it. You don't need the water to be too much so that the stock will come out. Just very little water like this. So I'll cover the pot and place it in the fire. I'll allow it to boil like 15 minutes. Then I'll come back to it. While the meat is boiling, I'm going to parboil my rice. I'll just pre-cook it then wash it so i'm working on three cups of rice you can check the comment section we will give you the breakdown the not the quantity of things we are using okay so we're going to write it out so that you know the quantity we are using so in this rice, i'm going to add water to it so i can boil it so before i boil the rice i'm going to wash it Make 
sure you wash your rice very well because some rice has so many particles inside that we do not like the entire food. So you wash it. So our meat is boiling, so you need to allow your meat to cook very well, so as you can see. The chicken is cooked and the liver too is cooked. So I'll take it off from the fire and continue with the rest of the cooking. Now I want to start cutting my vegetables. So I'll take my green beans. And I told us green beans is optional. In some cases you don't need to put it, but me I like adding it. I like using enough vegetables, green vegetables for my fried rice. So the, the color of the fried rice will be very attractive. Now as they say, you finish eating with your eyes before your mouth can taste it. That's exactly what I'm doing. Okay? This is the quantity I'll be using for today. Then the next thing I'm going to do is to cut my green pepper. It's already washed. Now I'm going to cut my green pepper. Like I told us, I like enough vegetables on my fried rice. And when you are cutting it, don't cut it too tiny. So you can, it, it will show when you are cooking it. So that's my green pepper. Just follow the procedure, follow the recipe. We are going to display the recipe we used and the quantity we are using. If you get confused, always feel free to ask any question. Grant Skill is here to attend to you. This is the best online class you have ever seen. I know most of you might be applying for different online catering school but brand skill we we'll make sure that we break everything down what i'm doing is my carrot i'm going to scrape it to remove the back While you are working, don't forget to have something on fire. 
Thank you for choosing Grand Skills as your number one online free professional course creator. For your notice, I want you to know that the instructor of this course has put in so much effort, time and money just to create this content for you to learn all for free. So please do well to click on the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification to all so you will be the first to get a video tutorials we'll be posting at all time. Also give it a thumbs up and drop a comment to help us improve more. Thank you. Our rice is there and it's boiling. I have to pause here so I can check my rice so it will not work. I'm going to wash it because some of this rice has a lot of starch. That's why I wash, I pre cook and wash my rice. But while you are pre cooking it, don't allow it to over salt. Don't cook it to be too soft so that your fried rice will come out nice. So I'm going to remove the water. And I'll add another one. Little water. Remember, I'm going to use the stock, the chicken stock. That's why I don't need to add too much water to it. This side here is the stock I'm using. So I'm going to sieve it out, sieve it in into the rice. So this is the stock, what I'm using. So I'm going to stir it. So inside here, I'm going to add curry powder. You need enough curry powder for this so that the, the, the color of your fried rice will really be attractive. So I'm going to add enough curry powder, like two tablespoons even, to it so that the color will come out. Then I'm going to add my black pepper. And I'll add stock cube. Another two cubes is what I'm using. You can use any stock cube of your choice. And I'll add a little salt to it. Be careful while working with salt. So your food will not be too salty. Remember there is salt in the chicken. The stock cube you are adding contains a little salt. So be careful with the salt. Then I'm going to cook the rice now. Cook it until the water dries out and until the rice is soft. So the next thing I'm going to do is to cook my green peas. If you are using the, tea, the uh, already processed one, you don't need to cook it. But what I'm using is the fresh one because it is still very strong. So if you are using the canned one, that one is processed and it's soft, so you don't need this process. But if you are using a fresh one, please make sure you boil it. I'm going to boil it with a little salt and water. So this is it. This is little salt and water. That's just what I'm using. I'm going to set it up, send it to the fire. While that is cooking, I'll quickly cut my carrots. So the carrot is already cut and it's scraped. Make sure you clean it 
very well. So I'm going to call it to I'm going to cut my carrots. I'll cut it in cubes. Don't need to make it too tiny. You can cut to any shape you want. As far as it can make your food come out nice. I'm cutting the carrots. Because of the time, finish it later. So I'm going to separate the liver. I told us we are using the cow liver. And the cow liver we are using, we cook it together with the chicken. So I'm going to separate it and cut it also in cubes. This is the liver. So this is the liver, we cut it in cubes. This is the best fried rice you have ever tasted. Bringing it your way from Grand Skills, Kentry Institute. You have other packages to give too. So please keep on liking our page, share the page, tell people about this program. Other ingredients we are going to use is um, ginger. You can use ginger powder, and this is garlic. You can also use garlic powder, but I like using fresh ones because fresh ones gives me exactly what I want. So you peel your ginger. Make sure you remove the bark. It's very well. Kill and wash. Ginger is very good to health. It has so many health benefits. And garlic too. So I'm going to wash it. Then grate it. You can pan this if you want. You can also blend. I don't really want to use blender because it's small, it's little when you use it. Anyhow you want it. If you find this process difficult, you can use the powdered garlic and ginger. Anyone you want, can feel free to use that. So I'm going to put it right inside the pot of rice. As you can see, the rice is already boiled. So I'm going to add the grated garlic and ginger. I'm not really stirring it. Just making sure that everything 
mixed up together. Mm. So this is our green peas. It's boiling. Mm. So you boil it until it becomes salt. So this is it. Make it salt now. By looking at the face, you see how it is. So I'll turn up the fire. Inside the rice is dried, so I'm going to start the crop and now. So I'll take the rice and then I'll use my hand on this side. Make sure that my pan is clean. So inside here, I'm going to add my vegetable oil. Fine guys, you can actually fry it bit by bit. If what you are cooking is much, you don't need to fry all at once. But since it's just three cups of rice, that's why I'm going to do it at once. That's why I'm also using a bigger fry pan for it. So as I've added my oil, what I will do is to add my chopped onion. Add it for just three seconds, depending on the level of fire you are using. Then I'm going to add my chopped liver. I told you you can use any liver of your choice. I'm using cow liver, you can use goat liver, you can use chicken liver, any one that is within your reach. So I'm going to allow it to fry for some minutes, for some seconds rather. Then I will go ahead to add my vegetables, the green beans. Then the green pepper, the peas, and carrots. After adding this, I will allow it for some few seconds too. Like 15 seconds. You don't need to overcook your vegetables. So it will look fresh and attractive. So inside here, I'm going to add stock cube, another two cubes of stock cube. I will still add correct dot curry powder is the secret of fried rice, Nigerian fried rice. It's the curry powder that will really bring out the perfect color in the fried rice. Then I'll add black pepper. I'll add a little salt. Be careful with salt. Now, the stock cube we are using contains a little bit of salt and the meat and everything you're using. Remember there is salt in the rice. That's why you don't need to add too much salt to this food. So after you have added that, I'm going to start adding my rice. Add it bit by bit. Then you add your steak. Now looking at this rice, you see that the color is very attractive, kind of yellowish color. It's because of the curry that we added. I told us it's curry that will really bring out the color of the fried rice. Like so many people have asked me, 
that when they prepare their fried rice, it's not really attractive. What the secret? The secret is the color powder. You don't need to add artificial color to it. I will know what my heat now. You don't need to add artificial color to your rice. What you do is to add a lot of correct to it. As you can see, very beautiful. So at this point, you can test if there is salt. If there is no salt, feel free to add to your salt. So that is our Nigerian fried rice. Very nice, very attractive. Feel free to ask any question. Our food is ready. So we'll send it to the table. So thank you so much for joining us in today's class. This is Grass Skills Catering Institute. This is our Nigerian fried rice. Feel free to ask any question, no matter how the question is, we are here to answer you. My name is Oye Chinweke. Please, I urge you to tell somebody about this site. Tell someone to tell someone. Tell your friends. Make sure that you subscribe. Share our page. We are going to enjoy this class. We'll be bringing to you different delicacies from Africa, from Nigeria, from the whole world. So feel free to join this class next time. Thank you for joining us. Bye. Thank you for choosing Grand Skills as your number one online free professional course creator. For your notice, I want you to know that the instructor of this course has put in so much effort, time and money just to create this content for you to learn all for free. So please do well to click on the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification to all so you will be the first to get a video tutorials we'll be posting at all time. Also give it a thumbs up and drop a comment to help us become more. Thank you.